Hey guys, I want to do a first impression on three new products. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio, and their new Maybelline Master Concealer. I bought them all at Walmart for, these were around $7 I think, and the concealer was around 4 something. I'm going to do the first impression on all three, all in the same day, but I'm going to separate it into three separate videos just to keep them short, just in case someone only wants to see the information on one of them. So make sure you keep an eye out for the other two. This first one is going to be on the primer. The primer claims to visually blur tone imperfections and smooth fine lines. Prime skin for a smooth start, lightweight, non-oily formula, does not clog pores. And it says you can wear it alone or under makeup. Um, there are two other kinds. I got the blur and smooth because I can't remember what the other ones were, but I just felt like this one was better for me. So I don't know what you can see of my skin. Um, I do have some really bad pores. I've got a little bit of lines around here. What, Bean? You're interrupting. I've got a bit of acne scarring on the side of my face and a little bit of lines right here where I make angry face and then I've always had these lines. These never go away. I need tea. My throat is being stupid. So I'm gonna squirt a little on my finger. Oh, it's white. That's not what I expected. Um, doesn't look like it has any kind of shimmers in it or anything, so I'm going to start by putting it on one half of my face. Feels really soft and smooth. I like it so far. I've got some weird bumps right here and I never know how to get rid of them. Put some on my forehead. So I only have it on this half of my face. Feels smooth for sure. And it definitely made the pores that are right here on my cheek and some around here on my nose appear smaller. I don't know if my camera picks up on that very well, but definitely a lot better pores right here on my cheek. Um, didn't do much for the acne scarring, but I didn't expect it to. And my one little wrinkle there, I don't think it did anything. And even possibly a little bit better on the lines on my forehead, which is surprising to me. I'm going to put a tiny more right here on my cheek because there's a little bit more pores right there. Got my entire face done. Feels nice and smooth. Looks really nice. Looks a lot better than it did. I think it kind of got rid of a little bit of my redness too. My face was really red when I first started. It didn't get rid of all of it, but I feel like it looks a lot better than it did. Um... This is definitely something I wouldn't mind wearing just, you know, by itself. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I got the rest of my makeup on and I am feeling pretty damn flawless right now. Foundation pretty much just smoothed on nicely. And what the primer didn't smooth out in my pores, the foundation definitely was able to pick up on. So... Pretty poreless on all the pores that are on my cheek and my nose. It, it's like you can see where they are, but it's not like visible holes in my skin. It's like completely smoothed over. So it's it's not like they're the imperfections are gone. It's just they're smoothed out like it says. And I'm the worst person about primers. I'm so lazy. I don't like to put them on. And now I'm kind of wishing that I always did because... This just, this is so much better than it normally is, and um, I like it. So it's almost 2.30, and I'll probably come back in like three or four hours, or whenever I end up getting back to it, and I'll show you guys what it looks like then. Hey guys, so now it's 5.57. It's been about three and a half hours, almost, almost four. Um, gonna update on the primer. It's definitely 
held up the foundation this entire time and I still look smooth. I did repowder the foundation because the oil was just awful. But um, if you look at my neck, I have no primer on my neck and you can kind of see lines where the foundation has settled into the lines of my skin. So if I hadn't been wearing primer on my face, my foundation would just have settled in all of the lines and it would have looked awful. So this primer is amazing. Um, I still look smooth and the pores are still pretty covered, especially on my nose. My nose looks great, except for where I've been rubbing it. Um, forehead looks okay. You can still see my forehead wrinkles, but everything's good so far. I like it and I'm probably not gonna come back to update on the primer anymore just because so far it's doing its job and from now on it's more like is the foundation going to hold up so do recommend this primer i'm going to start wearing primers more often i need to so um anyway go get yourselves one of these primers i'm tempted to go try the other kinds and see if they do a good job too so anyway i will see you guys in the next video make sure you look out for the foundation first impression and the concealer first impression and i We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.